Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about timing and control. Uh, control organization. Basically, for timing and controlling the computer, we require control unit, and that is what is control organization. Now, this control unit can be designed by means of two ways. Number one is hardware control. It is basically implemented by means of gates, flip flops, decoders, and digital circuits. Now, to have the fast mode of operation, it can be optimized very easily so we can get the faster results if if we want to do any kind of changes to this control unit then we need to do the changes in its wiring which is done between the components so it is somewhat complex for us to modify then the next organization what we are having is micro programmed control now in micro programmed control the in control information is stored into the control memory that means this control memory is con one kind of room wherein all the informations are stored for the controlling part and the control memory is such a program to initiate the required sequence of micro operations that means if you want to perform addition operation then the required sequence for performing addition is stored into the control memory and if we want to do any kind of changes to this operations micro operations then it is we need to modify the control memories information so it is easier rather than doing any kind of changes to the hardware organization so both are having their plus and minus points so in this session we'll be discussing about hardwired control organization of a basic computer let's see how it is implemented but before moving to that we need to have the again revision of instruction register now instruction register we are knowing that it is of 16 bits in a basic computer so 0 to 11 bits are for the address for memory reference instruction register operation for register reference instruction and input output operation for io instructions now 12 to 14 bits that is 12 13 and 14 bits are meant for opcode and the 15th bit is meant for the i bit which is i bit it means for the direct or indirect addressing in case of memory reference instruction now that value is 0 for register reference instruction and it is 1 for IO instruction so let us see the designing of control unit now for that we require some control logic gates but we need to give the input to this gate so based on the control output we would be getting so for that we require the sequence counter now why sequence counter because our computer works on some timing that means we we work on some time as in our day to day life we also work on some timetable so same way the computer works on some time so we need to provide the timing signals so for that we require a 4 bit sequence counter whose three inputs are increment clear and clock now because everything works on clock so we need to provide the clock as an input a clear so once the sequence counter if you want to clear it in between so we need to have the clear signal and the increment so we need to increment the counter every now and then so for that we require increment signal now the output of this 4 bit sequence counter is given to the 4 to 16 decoder so we would be getting 0 to 15 so we would be getting different timing cycles starting from t0 to t15 so in all 16 timing cycles we can obtain using 4 bit sequence counter sc now we what happens is during this control organization 0 to 11th bit of instruction register which you are seeing is directly given to the control logic gates now whereas 12 to 14 bits are decoded and they need to be given to 3 to 8 decoder which will generate the sequence from T0 to D7 based on the inputs given to the decoder. Now regarding the 15th bit of the instruction register that is I bit it is directly given to the control logic gates. Now this is the organization. Now there are certain other inputs are also given to the control logic gates so that would be other in inputs which we are not concerned at this moment and the output what we are getting is control output so based on this organization we would be getting some output so this is the control unit of a basic computer now let's see one demo in that case suppose I am having a binary bit pattern to be this which is stored in instruction register so 15th bit 12 to 14 bits and 0 to 11 bits 
Now, how computer will understand which instruction it is? Now, by seeing this, we came to know about which instruction it is. But how computer will understand? Let's see. So, what happens is 0 to 11 bits. That means all these bits are given to the control input directly. But now, opcode 0, 0, 001. That means it is given to the decoder. And the decoder output based on 0, 0, 001 is D1. So, based on this D1, based on this D1, computer control logic of a computer will decide that which instruction it is. That means as it is D1, so it will say at this time add instruction is to be performed. But again the question arises, add instruction whether it is direct or indirect. The operand provided over here is direct or indirect. So we are knowing that it is decided based on 15th bit. So let's say we are providing it to be 0. That means it is direct instruction. So computer will this control unit will decide that based on this d1 it will understand that this is the end operation is to be performed and corresponding control signals would be generated from here and they would be given to the corresponding registers and other parts of the system so this is how the system is going to work let us take one more demo that means d3 t4 now this is a register transfer language now you all are knowing what is register transfer language so if you interpret it it means that when d3 is 1 and t4 is 1 that means both should be 1 at time d3 and t4 if both are 1 then sequence counter is to be made 0 that means it is to be cleared so let's see into the form of waveforms so this is our timing cycles as you can see clock t0 t1 t2 t3 t4 and so on now when this t0 occurs so this is our timing cycle t0 t1 t2 t3 now we said at time d3 and t4 that means if both these values are 1 so now this d t4 is 1 now but only t4 will not work d3 should also be 1 so say for example d3 is also 1 now so at this time that means both are 1 now that means at that time we need to send the clear signal to sequence counter so we are saying clear signal is now 1 initially it was 0 so now when d3 and t4 at both this peak it will become 1 so clear signal would be 1 and the sequence counter will be made 0 this is how the control unit works so now after this as it has been made clear sequence counter is clear so it was reset so sequence counter value is 0 so again my timing cycles will start from t0 so now t0 is again 1 so after t0 t1 then t2 again when till until sequence counter is made 0 the cycle goes on so this is how the control unit of a basic computer works